Hello and welcome to a walkthrough of our quizzing tool, our Tsugi quizzing tool. I'm um, using Tsugi Cloud, which is my uh, free hosted uh, place where you can actually use these tools and plug them into your learning management systems for free by going and getting yourself a learning management system key and away you go. So this of course is Tsugi Cloud, it's got lots of tools. The one I'm going to look at today is the quizzing tool. So this is using a format called GIFT. Uh, it's an interchange format that came from Moodle. And so here is the tool. Um, this is running in a test harness so I can switch between uh, students and uh, instructors very simply. Uh, so this, you could use this if you had uh, like a highly scalable quiz. It's not the most sophisticated quizzing engine, but it performs very well and uh, is uh, really simple to use. So I, I, I had this authoring environment designed to make it so that you could use uh, tabs to do as much of what you want to do. So I'm gonna, you'll notice that everything I'm doing, well, you can't see it, is using uh, keystrokes. What color is the sky? You can use uh, HTML. Span color equals uh, style equals color colon blue. So colon, let's make see if I get this right. Double quote, holy mackerel, slash span. <laughs> okay, I hope I got that. Um, and so now I'm gonna use a tab blue. Uh, that one's not correct, so now I'm gonna add another one. Uh, blue tab. That one is correct. Add another one. Uh, white. That's not correct. Add another one. Um, pink. Although some of these could be correct at any given time. And now I'm going to give the question a title. That's part of the GIF format. Now I hit the tab, now I hit the space bar. And now I'm going to go down another multiple choice question and um, question. So again, I'm doing all this. One of, the, one of the things I don't like about full screen uh, editors is that you're always clicking around. So question two, option, option, yes, that is correct. Add another one, no, that is not correct. Simple question, tab, tab, save. And now I'll go back. And so here is the question. It's got some HTML in it. It's not the most sophisticated uh, tool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings while we're at it. Uh, I tend to give students lots of tries on something if it's like a formative question. So it's like you get five tries and you gotta wait 600 seconds in between tries. You can put due dates. Often your LMS will decide on due dates and late points. But if your LMS doesn't know how to do that, you can set this in settings. Again, you can edit the quiz. You can see the GIFT. This is the GIFT format. And so that way you can copy it back and forth for Moodle. Or if you have a GIFT quiz, you can come here and paste it in and then press save. And then you can continue to edit this in the, in the full screen editing environment. So it, 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 it converts back and forth so, sort of seamlessly between GIFT and uh, the full screen editor. Okay, and, um, and, and, and basically now let's switch to a student account so I can take the quiz. And uh, so I'll take the quiz, I'll make a mistake, and away we go, right? So I, I got a score of 50%, and away we go. And so that's the student side of it. And now I'm going to uh, go back to the teacher side. It's got some simple analytics where you can see, this is not very good analytics because we only had one student, but uh, it, as students uh, do it, you can also take a look at the student data and uh, interact with the various students and see information about their grades, etc. cetera. Uh, and the last thing to talk about, which is uh, pretty straightforward, is the ability to export this quiz into uh, QTI uh, format. Uh, I won't validate it, it goes faster that way. A lot of LMSs don't understand the type text plane, so you make it all HTML, but it works. And then you download the zip file, boop, and then you save that file, and it ends up on your hard drive, and then you upload it into 
your LMS. And so that's basically a real quick walkthrough of the, the gift quizzing system that I have made available. Of course, if you have your own Sugi, uh, you don't need to use Sugi Cloud, but if you don't have your own Sugi, you can always use Sugi Cloud. Cheers.